Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Stefan Riedl and I welcome you to this special video training. We have something pretty cool planned because I want to show you a very special plugin. It's the following. You know those small slides from times long gone kinda or grandma's old photos and if you want to digitize everything to preserve it for future generations then there is sadly always the problem that there are small specks of dust on the pictures and there is tons of porous particles on them. And you could theoretically use the onboard tools of Photoshop like some retouch brushes or spot healing brush tools and tediously remove each spot on its own. But that isn't necessary because I want to show you something today, namely a plugin that does all that in the blink of an eye like magic. And this plugin is called Smart Removal of Defects X plugin. So SRDX plugin. And now we're gonna take a closer look at this certain plugin. I'm gonna show you what the plugin can do. Let's get it on. So this is the homepage of PicturePlugins.com, as you can see up here. And here I want to show you, of course, what different purposes this plugin covers. First of all, you see here this super cool preview. You can swipe the mouse from left to right and you see that all the black horrible spots disappear in the blink of an eye. There is nothing left of it and the picture shines in all its glory. Okay, but now to the application areas. You see, you can use and apply this on black and white pictures, for example, just as well as you can on color pictures. So if it's a black and white picture, that's no problem for the plugin because it recognizes that automatically. It also works pretty handily on Kodachrome films or on printouts, as you can see on the bottom left here. Of course, when you scan old pictures that you want to digitize, then all those defects on the copies are inevitably digitized along with the photo. And the classic, which I've experienced as well, is the digital camera, just normal pictures. You're on holiday, sightseeing tour, flown somewhere to a faraway country, brought your camera along, take a few great pictures and then you notice, oh my god, the lens was dirty or some little hair snuck onto the lens, there is dust on it or maybe just some dried water stain. You can remove all of that without a problem. Last example, it works as well with the film negatives. Well, that doesn't look half bad, definitely promises potential. So let's move on to the next step. Did you see? I mean the application areas? Now my friends, we're moving on from these examples that I've just shown you to a concrete picture that I will edit in Photoshop to make it, uh, let's say, wrinkle-free. Because it is completely ruined with the black scratches and dirt on it and particle defects. So it's exactly how you wouldn't want to present it to anyone else. And we're doing that now nicely with the plugin. We're moving to Photoshop CC and there I will show you how that works. Stay tuned. Okay, so you want to know how cool this actually is? I will show you. We've arrived in Photoshop CC. This is the current version of Photoshop and here I've already brought you a fitting picture of a, well, lighthouse. And if we zoom in here we see, oh, there are quite a lot of unpleased details hidden away. They are already visible to the naked eye, but especially this. That could have been a hair or something else. And there really is some work to be done. I don't and we, however, actually tries to mask each thing with the spot healing tool in Photoshop. You could do that, of course, but guys, there's a much easier way. Namely, Control Zero. Here we have a full view and choose after the installation, filter, laser soft imaging, SRDX. The plugin opens now and we see the first big advantage. I'm going back to the original, this is our original image once more. We have here a seamless integration with Photoshop. This isn't a separate program that you have to start something annoying that has to stay open as well, no. It's simply in the filter mask up here. And I'm a big fan of that, I will admit. Because nothing is worse than for example having to retouch a picture and then having three different programs that you have to switch between that's annoying. And we're trying to reduce the annoyance here, so it's pretty cool that you can just choose this from the filter mask or from the filter menu. Ziemlich cool, dass man das Ganze wirklich aus der Filtermaske bzw. aus dem Filtermenü einfach anwählen kann. Up here in the tabs we can choose Mark Defects and we see, wow, 
A lot is changing to the color red. And that's the cool feature this has. We have a certain base detection of dust and scratches that the plugin performs on its own. And this base detection recognizes us, as I said, in the color red. If red doesn't speak to you or you simply don't like red, you can change the color here, of course. But I will leave it as it is and here in our control panel on the side we have different options, namely tools for automatic as well as manual correction. We are going to need both in this example. We see up here for example the tools for the automatic correction, there is the defect type. So there are dark defects, light defects, you can obviously just take those away, then we see, yes, that looks quite good. But we will need both for our example. Then we have here a detection scale. When we turn that down, then as we can see, nothing happens. That is, it doesn't select anything anymore. That's not the goal. If we turn it up too much, then we've suddenly selected everything. So all the pretty details of the lighthouse as well. We have to find the middle somewhere. And I will set our scale to 15. You could do it manually as well. And here you have the possibility to modify the size of the defects, depending on what your starting material needs. If we choose optimized, up here we see, oh yes, that looks a lot better. The first automatic round of detection was already worth it, but not completely, because if we zoom in here a bit, we see the lighthouse has suffered a bit. Here, at this wire decorations, we have definitely lost some details. Up here as well, this round wasn't quite it yet. So the automatic recognition does a good job, but it doesn't quite replace us as the human and that's why we have to help it a bit. We go back to mark defects and are just going to exclude this lighthouse. That's pretty cool because it's quite easy. Hang on, not the polygon mask, I want to create a new path mask, okay. And then I can just click along the house over here, like that. I'm just setting individual dots, you know how those paths work. You can also move them a bit to create nice curves, but that's not that necessary here. So then I'm just switching through here. Okay, the path is closed and here we see, okay, um, now we sadly did it the other way around. We have now selected the insides instead of the outsides. The good thing is, if we reverse all of that, that is what this button is for, then you can see exactly everything around it is selected. But the lighthouse is spared. We take a look at the optimized results and think, yes, we can live with that. That looks quite good. But what stands out a bit still is, if you look over here, there used to be an antenna. If we go back to the original, the antenna comes back, conjured back up, and when we go to the optimized, it disappears. But we still need that, of course. So, now we're getting to the manual modifications, because here you also have an eraser, and there you can nicely, with an appropriate radius, that works like a brush in Photoshop. You're familiar with that, make it bigger or make it smaller. And then you can put the antenna back into the picture. And that's what I'm going to do now. So. And now the antenna is there as well. Now I'm confirming the whole picture and we see, whoa, the original mess, if you're going to call it that, all those pixels that were a thorn in our sides before have all disappeared. And the lighthouse is beautifully masked and even our antenna is back. So a pretty cool plug in I think and it's definitely not supposed to replace the other tools here. But it definitely completes your toolbar that you already have in Photoshop. Because doing all of that manually with the spot healing brush tools, the clone stamp tool or however else, I am personally not up for that and as you see, this plugin does that in no time at all, so we couldn't ask for a better outcome here. So if you like the smart removal of defects plugin guys, definitely try it out. As I said, you can easily see the results here. And every one of you that wants to digitize pictures, if from the past for your parents or whatever else, has automatically realized the use of this by now. This plugin rocks and I like it quite a bit. Okay guys, so now you have seen you don't have to be David Copperfield to do magic because this plugin really already does a big part of your work, completely automatically. Works super well, as you saw, in different settings, light areas, dark areas. I would recommend, just try it out. 
You can get a free trial, that's what I did as well, and I think it's really cool. So my recommendation, if you have or if you often struggle with such problems, then really just let the plugin do its thing. The usage is just as convenient as the Photoshop surface you're already familiar with. And I think the result doesn't leave anything to desire. First of all, I'm Stefan. Second of all, exit here. Thank you for listening and tune in again next time. Bye bye and farewell.